Welcome to Speak English Podcast with your host, Georgiana. Hi, everybody. I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. I'm going to talk about how to ask and give directions in English. For example, when you want to go to a restaurant and you have to ask for directions. Next, an exclusive mini-story to improve your fluency in English. Remember that you can get the text of this episode at speakenglishpodcast.com. So, let's get started. As you know, it's very useful to know how to ask for directions when you go to a place for the first time and you're a bit lost. Okay, yes, I know that nowadays with smartphones, you can check the GPS and you don't need to ask for help anymore. But think about this. Asking for directions is an excellent opportunity to practice English. In this episode, we will see the most common expressions with some examples. All right. The best way to ask for directions is by using this expression. Excuse me, how do I get to... Or, can you tell me the best way to get to... For example, if you want to ask how to get to Times Square, you say... Excuse me, how do I get to Times Square? You could also say... What is the quickest way to get to the movies? Excuse me, where's the nearest post office, please? Excuse me, I'm looking for... And if you're very close to your destination, you could simply ask, Where is the hotel? And if you get lost, just ask this simple question, Where exactly am I? Okay, great. Now, let's see how to give directions. Here are some useful phrases for giving directions on the street. Turn left, turn right, and go straight ahead. An example. Sorry, what is the quickest way to get to the city center? It's easy. Go straight ahead and then turn right. They can also tell you to take the first, second, or third street, for example. Let's look at the same example. Excuse me, could you tell me the best way to get to the city center? It's easy. Go straight ahead and take the second street on the right. Another example. Sorry. How do I get to the mall? Very easy. Cross the street and turn right. Go straight ahead and take the third street on the left. Cross the square and you will see the mall. Here are some useful expressions you can use to give directions. Go past. Go across. Go up. Go down go out of, and go through. Let's hear some useful questions for when you want to ask for directions in English. Don't forget to say excuse me before you ask a person. How can I get to the airport? Where can I find a bank? How do I get to the city center? Could you tell me where the hospital is? I'm looking for a hotel. Do you know where the museum is? Okay, let's continue with a mini-story. A mini-story is very simple. I ask simple questions on purpose so that you can simulate a conversation in English. It's like talking with another person. Let's get started. Martha asked a man for directions to her hotel. Did Martha ask a fireman for directions?
No, she did not ask a fireman for directions. She asked a man for directions. Did a man ask Martha for directions? No, a man did not ask Martha for directions. She asked the man for directions. Who did Martha ask for directions? A man. She asked a man for directions to a hotel. Did she ask for directions to a hotel or a park? To a hotel. She asked for directions to a hotel. The man said, Go straight ahead and take the third street on the right. Did the man say, go straight ahead? Yes, he said, go straight ahead. Did the man say, turn left? No, the man did not say that. The man said, go straight ahead. Which street was Martha supposed to take to the right? The first, second, or third street? The third street. Martha had to go straight ahead and take the third street on the right. The man continued, cross the square and turn right at the corner. Did Martha have to cross a park? No, Martha did not have to cross a park but a square. Did Martha have to jump over a square? No, she didn't have to jump over it. She had to cross it and then turn right. Did Martha have to turn right before crossing the square? No, she had to cross the square and then turn right. The man ended by saying, You can't miss it. Did the man say the directions were clear? Yes, according to the man, the directions were clear. Were the man's directions unclear? No, no. His directions were clear. What was clear? The man's directions were clear. Martha? followed the directions and arrived at the same place where she started. Did Martha follow the man's directions? Yes, she followed the man's directions. Who followed the directions? The man? No, not the man. The man gave the directions to Martha, and she followed them. Did Martha arrive at the same place where she started?
Yes, Martha followed the directions and arrived at the same place where she started. Martha realized that she had followed the man's instructions backward, and that's why she returned to the same place. Perfect. It's the end of this mini story. And as you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. Let me ask you something Is my podcast helping you with your English? Though the podcast is a useful resource, I can hardly develop these lessons because of time limitations, although they allow you to try out my method. So, if you're serious about learning English, I recommend my premium courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses That's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.